anarchist, inventor, anybody with a dream, uh, this one goes out to you. Anybody with a dream that has to work a line level job with an employee, with a boss that you hate for year after year, this one goes out to you. I was visited by angels. They rested their head on my shoulder. They said, you will have many bosses in this life, and you will want to murder them, but don't. It had come to this. I was looking at 40. I was living in Texas. I was delivering pizzas. The manager was 19 years old. He didn't know the rules. Rule number one, I know how to do my job. Leave me alone. Rule number two, I know how to do my fucking job. Leave me the fuck alone. I had a friend that worked there, Texas native, same age as me. He had a job working for the state, doing environmental law violations, righteous work, busting big corporations. He was going through a divorce, so he was supplementing his income by working at the pizza shop. He couldn't understand why the boss got under my skin. The boss's name was Chris. He had red hair and a lot of pimples. You know the expression, beat him like a red-headed stepson? They wrote it for him. <laughs> he liked to imitate Ice Cube and say stuff like biatch and diat. It sounded really stupid coming out of his mouth. When you weren't delivering pizzas, you had to do work around the store, folding boxes, mopping floors, bussing tables. Chris was reading about me a little bit in the local press, so he got a big kick out of ordering me around, especially if there was a pretty girl at the register. One day, I was cleaning dough trays. A chimp could clean dough trays. Not a genius chimp. Not an astronaut chimp. A fucking retard chimp. Chris came up behind me and he stared. He said, you know, the dough trays weren't clean yesterday. Make sure you get the corners. My brain went hot and fuzzy like a burrito that's been left in the microwave for an hour. I find that certain members of the audience respond to that line more than others because they did at one time or currently do smoke a shitload of pot. And they're going to go home tonight and they're going to put a burrito in the microwave and they think they're going to press 60 seconds, but the reality is they're going to press 60 minutes. Oh. Half an hour later, when they smell something burning, please think of me. <laughs> I had to do something. My head was exploding, so I grabbed Chris by the dick and I had hard and I didn't let go. possibility in light of both his personality and his looks, no one had ever touched Chris's dick before. <laughs> he was a dick touch virgin, and now the first person that had was a 40-year-old bald guy with a polyester pizza uniform on. <laughs> I didn't stop there. I paraded Chris out to the dining room where I announced to both the clientele and my fellow co-workers, hey, you want to get Chris to shut up, grab by the dick, he'll jump like a roach from decom. <laughs> Chris never talked to me again, but my same age Texas native friend said, hey, Ed, you can kiss an ass like that. You're going to make management. <laughs> I worked there another three months. I got signed to Mercury Records the same week I got Employee of the Month. Chris stole $100 out of the night deposit bag and got fee-ired. <laughs> Thank you, Angel.